<laughs> Just stay back, guys. What's up, guys? Going order here. We are out today. We're going to do the separation, right, guys? We're doing the six feet. We're doing the masks. There was an old house back here. We're going to try to find it. And uh, what the heck, right? We're social distancing. We're outside. We're covered up. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> My first find of the day was this scratchy high 60s, low 70s signal. I was hoping for a coin. I got this button. Look at all the gold gilt on it, Kyle. I, I'm blinded from here by the gilt. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to spray it. Hang on a second. All right, there it is cleaned up. Kyle, I know you can't see it because you're really far away. I can see it because it's, it's blinding me with its goldness. It's a beautiful design. It, this might be one of my favorite buttons I've dug in a while. It, the gold gilt on it is crazy nuts. Would you say, out of all your buttons, it's in the top ten? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, it's in the top ten for this year. Will you add it to your next button display? Yes, yes I will. Okay. I will do that. Yes, all I will. Right. Right, I'm going to put this in my case. doesn't get it hurt. Look at that, Kyle, though. Oh, I didn't realize it was that nice. I said are, that. Are beautiful. I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm oh, just being sarcastic. Yeah. That's really, oh, that's. And there's the back. Actually, that's one of the nicest buttons. That, see, oh, now, now, <laughs> now, really you, nice. now you do it, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> that's really nice. Thank you, thank you. Well, super cool button for me. I can't complain, that thing is amazing. I'm gonna put the banana in the hole because I wanna find more buttons today and some old coins and some shoe buckles and chrono bells, all the stuff I love to find. So uh, hopefully it'll give me some more luck. So, uh, all right, let's keep on going. No one knew it's a flying Nah, I can see it. <laughs> First good signal, I called Doug over. It was a nice one, wasn't yeah, it, Doug? Yeah. It was small and tight. It's right here. I fished it out of the clump. It's still in the, in this clump. I think it's a wheat penny, Doug. I'm going to pop it out. All right. Yeah, I see Abe Lincoln. I don't know if I'll get a date off of it. But I mean, uh, we've been here five minutes and we got a flat button, a harmonica reading out a wheat penny, which is a really good sign for a house. And an underwear button. And an underwear button. That's right, Doug got an underwear button. Hopefully it didn't come off his underwear. You should check. <laughs> but uh, it's a good sign, Doug. I think we're going to do well here. Indian. Right next to the wheat penny. My wheat penny's right there. I came right over here and I just got an Indian. The wheat penny I dug was 1910. This Indian is... 1885, 1883. I don't want to rub it with my dirty glove on, but definitely near the home site. And the field is really quiet, Doug, which is yeah. a, a real bonus. There's Kyle. Anything in the woods? It's like uh, the vines grab you. It's like a horror movie. Did you see a house, though? I could see remnants of where a house was. Awesome little find here. Let's keep on going. Doug yelled out spoon. I can't get too close, you gotta yeah. toss it to me. Good catch. Uh, I, I'm trying to watch it through the viewfinder. Uh, here it is. Yeah, that's definitely. A nice, that's a nice relic. No, I agree, that's a nice old one. I'd love to see if there's any markings on it. Even the copper ones, sometimes they would monogram them. Yeah. Awesome find. Here you go. Ooh. Let's see if you can do better than me catching oh, it. I, no question. Did you get it? <laughs> uh, it's in question. It's in question. Hands of stone. <laughs> Is it a button? No, I think it could be like a half set. Let me see. Throw it to me. Wow, it's super thick. I see a bust on it, Kyle. Or no, you know what? It could be a classic head half cent. I see Liberty, I think. Yeah. I think that's what it is. It's in bad shape, but... Oh, congratulations. I'll have to clean it up and see. 
All right, we just looked it up again, and it's not a classic head. Doug, I think this is a Liberty Cap half cent. The first year, the only one that faces to the left, and there's only a minute that's really a rare coin, like 35,000 made. Wow. Now, I don't see the cap, though, but it's the only one that Kyle could find that actually says Liberty above the coin. I'm going to Google it and see more information of it, but that could be super duper rare. I thought your most valuable coin might have been that barber quarter you got. I think you beat your valuable coin already. Me and Doug are digging buttons. You're digging $5,000 coins, Doug. Holy he crap. cleaned it up. We didn't know what it was. That is crazy. I've never held one, Doug. I, I just want to hold it in my hand and 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 then I guess give it back to Kyle. <laughs> That's a great find, man. Thanks. Congratulations. You're like a multimillionaire now. You're done. He doesn't have to take another hole in his life. Congratulations. Way to go. Can you see it? Yeah. I got a good one. It might, it might be a button. I just saw the roundness and put the clump down real quick. It might be a coin. Now, I think it's... Sure looks like a coin from here. No, I think it's a... Let me brush it off. Hang on a second. This could be a military button, Doug. Hang on. Really? All right, there it is. It's starting to clean up. I think it's an old Navy button. Not old Navy like you'd buy your jeans at, but like old, like an old U.S. Navy. I see an anchor in the middle. I don't have the best light here. There's an eagle on top. The shank is missing. That's why I thought it was a coin. It looked flat. But that is a really nice one. That could be 1812 error. I'm going to clean it up even better later. I'm going to leave it in some moist uh, dirt for now and bring it home that way. Awesome find. That's incredible. All right, the hazmat door has got something. I'll have you throw it to me, Doug. Let me see if I can see it. Now, nah, throw it to me. Even with the mist. Boom. Tom back button. I'm going gonna... to take my mask down, Doug, since we're away from each other. Yeah. The shank's gone, but that's a gorgeous Tom back button. Pretty good shape. I saw online some guy found a tom back with an etching of a dog on it. Really? Yeah. yeah oh man, I was almost like jealous. Can you imagine how hard that was to do without breaking it. I know. I know. I was really. Uh, I forget who it was, or I would say say his name or her name or yeah. her name, Doug. Yeah. Don't forget, it could have oh. been a woman. All right. Doug, I threw ten things at you today. You haven't caught a single I one. I've got, I've got drops. <laughs> You're never going to make the all-star team this year. No. Yeah. All right, I got another one. It's small. It's right by my pinpointer there. I think it's going to be a penny right there. I think it's another Indian. Yep, I see it. I see it. I think it might be 1884. I think my other one was 1883. I did get a second wheat penny, 1912 and 1910. So I'm rating right that 1880s to 1915 time frame, which is amazing. That's in great shape. That's a beautiful front. I'll clean the back up later. The back's not as good. Now it's starting to come out. The front is beautiful. Indian head penny. I love them. It's an incredible design. And uh, oh, here comes Kyle, even though he's really far away. If he walks over, I'll show him. But that's incredible. Doug, you messed up. What does that look like? I thought that was your regular face. That looks like Doug. <laughs> yeah. All right, Doug said he's got something good. I just heard him say, ooh. Not quite like that, but. Yeah. Right. My mask is on. Oh, that looks like another Tom back to me. It does? Yep. It was ringing in that area. It looks bigger than the last one. Though. Yeah, I would think. It's, I think it's definitely a button. Do you want me to hand it to you? Or you no, no, I'll, it? Okay. I'll hand it to you. Yeah, it's a button. Yeah, I thought I saw like but a it slight look, indentation. It doesn't look Tom back though. There you go. It's a nice button though. Yeah. You son of a gun. Maybe dunk. it is Tom back. I think it might be. It's cleaning up really yeah, good. Yeah, I think it's a Tom It back. is Tom back. Is it? I say for my extensive yeah. Tom back. Well, I can see the shank <laughs> side in the back. Doug, <laughs> they'll never question me. You trying to embarrass me in front of Kyle? <laughs> I didn't think that it was possible. 
<laughs> yeah, it's another Tom Vic. You son of a gun. You guys are getting like 1700 stuff. Yeah, I'd like to find uh, some silver. Oh, come on. You're getting era. really picky now. I'm hanging on a buckle and an underwear button. <laughs> you stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Good fine. There's a nice little flat button. Still has the shank bent over, smushed flat. It's actually concave. I don't know if it's considered a flat button. It's a concave flat button, if that makes any sense. And it does have a design of like little dots or something. I don't know what you'd call it. But I'll clean it up and give it some love later because I do love me some flat buttons. Awesome. Alright, here's a weird one. I got myself a little piece of jewelry. Everything we're finding is old, so I don't know what that comes off of. Just a fancy little piece of jewelry. No, I say jewelry. I mean, maybe off of a hat or a sleeve or something, but it's very cool. It was bouncy and scratchy and probably because it has holes in it and it's misshapen, but it was solid enough that it piqued my curiosity and I'm glad I dug it. I'll clean up later. That's a great little find. Yeah, Doug. All right, let me uh, get the blade out. <laughs> Oh, Doug! Oh, you gotta throw it high so I can see it. You threw me like a underground, like it's like a girls softball game. Well, I'm good at girls uh, sports. Oh no, it's got a. It's, whoa, Jesus! It's got a cool design on it. Of course it does. Oh, let me take this mask off since you're staying over there. Yeah, it's got like a feathering design to it. Really? Well, you looked at it, didn't you? Is that me? No. Did you fart? No, I didn't fart. It sounded like it. I don't know who. Yeah, it's got a cool cool feather design, I think. I think. I don't know. Look. Nice find. Look, here's how you throw it. You throw it high so you can see it. Ready? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Now, you've dropped every one I've thrown you today. Now, yeah. the pressure's this, on, Doug. This one's got one you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you're getting two hands out. The big guns. See, real high like that? That was a bad throw. Oh, that sure. was a bad throw. I'm trying to do it through the viewfinder. That was my fault, Doug. That's okay. I won't count. You're still only over three, Oh, though. yeah, it does have a nice Yeah, I don't, you think I'm here to lie to you, Doug? I got this cool thing. I called Kyle over. It's a shame he had the mask up and everything. And I thought it was a coin. But it was all dirty. Just an underwear button. But I love how it puffs up. I found one of these before. Maybe a two of them before. It's a dirty underwear button? <laughs> it might be a dirty underwear button. I'm not sure. But I think there's writing on it, too, Kyle. And it's just a, butts? it could be from Seymour Butts. I so. love your your underwear button. <laughs> All right, Kyle, it's been a slow day, so I'm going back to the underwear clip again because I figured out his this name. This is a brief clip. Yeah, this is going to be a brief clip. I think it says George Ford Philadelphia, which, I mean, anything with writings on it, Kyle, is, is incredible. That is good. And uh, I like the design of it. I'm, I'm happy with this find. Is yours a four or two hole? It's a four hole made by George Ford out of Philadelphia. Ford I'm, lived here. That, well, that's what Kyle just said. But you think that guy monogrammed his underwear buttons? He may have. I mean, he would have had some money. Who else would bother? It's true. I got my name on my underwear. You know, it's funny too, Kyle. There was a, <laughs> one of the other houses around the corner I've is the Haynes house. Oh, all right. So there's Haynes. Where they, it was like an underwear button war. Early rivals. Right, everyone had their own Remember underwear that? button. Kyle just pulled this out of the ground. This is crazy. He said he's got a mid-tone. He pulled it out. It's really thick. And as we kind of oiled it a little bit, it's a flying eagle. Kyle, that is a, that crazy rare barber quarter, the Liberty Cap half cent, which is the first coin ever made in the US, super rare. But you've never dug a flying eagle before, have you? No. That's nuts. They made them 1856, 7, and 8, but the 56 is super, super rare. So make, I'm sure that's what it'll be. I don't know if it's going to make people feel better that I, this is just a complete goof, uh, an uh, accident. I just dropped, oh, I dropped it and it went in my bag. It's oh, like fate. Convenient. It's fate. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it in my, right, I got to pause this. I got to find it in my bag. All right, we're at another spot. We ran over here because the farmer did a deep plow. We don't even need the shovels and we don't have to fill our holes back in. We've been here 30 seconds and Kyle yelled out coin on the surface. Kyle's got to take 20 minute time out. He's already got the Liberty Cap half cent first year. That might be, my, is that a nickel? Or is that another half cent? That looks, 
about nickel size. So you want to hand me your... All right, I can't really see it. There's a light cleaning. Kyle said he thinks it says good for amusement only or something yes. like that? Yes. You can see one at the bottom. So some sort of a token. I don't. We don't know how old it is yet, but... On the surface, Kyle, did you actually see it on the surface? No, but, it, I mean, it was like... I, I heard it with my detector, but then I saw it was on the surface. All right. Well, good job. good job. Look at this terrain. It is so hard to walk. But I had another one only an inch down. I just fished out my pinpoint. You only have to dig. The ground's already all messed up. Literally an inch down. It's right here, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a coin. It is paper thin. Wow, it's super duper thin. I'm going to have to brush this off and uh, I'll be right back. Hang on. Well, there's my coin and it is terrible. It's almost like an egg shape. I can't see anything on it either side. Super thin. Ah, uh, well. All right, let's keep on looking. Now, see, I got a, a good signal here. It's the shovel's shit. more for uh, balance. Just balance. Yeah, it's like walking on the moon. It's right here, Doug. It was, oh, okay. it was maybe an inch below the surface. Wow. That's that half cent size? No, nah, it, it looks like it's large cent size. Yeah, you're going to get some detail off of it. It's kind of thick. I'm going to guess yeah. it's a U.S. I think I see a head coming through. Yeah. I see stars. Yeah, I see the stars. Yep, I think it's a matron. I'm going to toothbrush it, and I'll come back in one second. Hold Looks on. Looks good. All right, there it is. Kind of cleaned up. I just kind of brushed it. One cent. And the year is 18, maybe 50-something. Can't be that old. Why not? I thought the last year was 1858. Uh, it is, but why couldn't it be 1850-something? Oh, I thought you said 1860. No, 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 50-something. I can't read it. It's it's bad shape still, but that's cool. I think it's a uh, braided hair, I think, but I'll put it in the bag. We'll keep finding some more. Like I said, super easy digging, just really hard walking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe the luck of the nibbler? Oh, my goodness. A few weeks ago, we got that $500 silver quarter, and now he gets a 1793 left-facing Liberty Cap half cent, the first half cent ever made by the country, well, the first or second coin ever made by the U.S. Mint in general. Every website I went to, thousands of dollars, even in that Doug condition, unbelievable. Tops it off with a flying eagle. Me and Doug had a bunch of old coins and buttons and other doodads, but nothing's going to beat that on the day. Most valuable coin we found probably in about two or three years. Whew, unbelievable. And if you guys want to find your most valuable coin, maybe a shot at the first ever Liberty Cap. Hey, you never know. Get yourself a metal detector and I can save you money on any brand you want. I love that Nocto Macro Amphibio. The Simplex is out there. The Equinox, the Garrett ATs, the new Garrett, uh, whatever the heck you call it. Uh, I forget what its name is. All sorts of incredible machines. Shoot me an email, quarterorder, yahoo.com, and I'll save you money on any brand you want. Get out and save some history. You're going to have a good time doing it. It is the hobby of champions. Whew. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting. I'll see you in the next one. Later.